three, how would you rank these ions according to atomic radius? Uh, K plus, calcium two plus, phosphorus minus three, sulfur minus two, and chlorine minus one. Please explain why you chose this order. Okay, so let me write down the basic trend of the periodic table for atomic uh, radius. So generally, atomic radius increases as you go right to left. and as you go from the top to the bottom. Okay, so let me look up how to show this on the periodic table. Yep, so you can kind of see in these different examples how it kind of like ranges. So obviously when you start from the top and go down, you'll notice that the radius gets larger and this is because uh, more electrons are uh, in the atom. So for example, uh, like when you have lithium, sodium, potassium, they all have the same number of valence electrons, so they all have one valence electron. But the difference is that um, as you go down, you increase the size of your atomic radius by another level of electrons. And you'll see that atomic radius increases when you go right to left. So meaning the value, the elect, uh, elements that are more on the right, they contain more protons than as you go, than, yeah, than the very left. So because they contain more protons than the other elements in that row, uh, since it's more positively charged, this tends to bring your valence electrons more into the shell. So this is why atomic radius increases when you go right to left. So this is a nice um, diagram as well. So the question gives us uh, potassium plus... Calcium 2 plus, phosphorus 3 minus, sulfur minus 2, and chlorine minus 1. So potassium is the smallest, and chlorine is the largest. Okay, so if you look at a periodic table, you can find uh, calcium and potassium right here, and phosphorus, sulfur, and chlorine uh, kind of at the row above it. So did they rank them? Oh no, they didn't yet. So if we were to rank this, we have to first look at how many electrons are in their shell since we know that 
um, the number of electrons will affect the atomic radius. So calcium is right here. If you were to take away two electrons, its shell is smaller, and you have the same electron configuration as argon. If you were to take away one electron from potassium, you also get the same electron configuration as argon. And you'll notice that even when phosphorus loses three electrons, and when sulfur loses, or sorry, when phosphorus gains three electrons, and when sulfur gains two electrons, and when chlorine gains one electron, they all have the same electron configuration as argon. So this means they all have the same number of electrons. So what we're more interested in is how many protons are um, in each element. So for this example, all contain the same number of electrons. So this is when atomic number will have a say in the matter. So like I mentioned earlier, the more protons that you have in the nucleus, the more it will attract those outer valence electrons, so it, it makes your radius smaller. So the element that has the largest number of electrons is the calcium. And notice it's also the element that lost the two as well. So calcium will have our smallest, this one wasn't in order, I'll write it in order here. Calcium has the smallest since it has the highest number of protons. Next is potassium plus, and then next one is the chlorine, and then the sulfur, and then lastly the phosphorus has the largest atomic radius. And another helpful note for when you are just comparing um, just a neutral atom compared to its ion. I'll just write it here. In general, the negatively charged anions have a larger atomic radius than its neutral ion. Our neutral atom. And this is because you're adding an electron to the shell, so your radius gets larger. And similarly, the cations have a smaller atomic radius than its neutral atom. Okay, so this is just when you need to compare uh, an atom that lost or gained an electron. But in the case of the example that was in the question, 
Since all of them had the same number of electrons, we just needed to look at atomic number. Okay, so the junior tutor said, the number of electrons in all five ions are equal, so they all contained 18 electrons, due to the losing and gaining of electrons from its ground state. For example, the original ground state of calcium has 20 electrons, thus calcium plus 2 ion, which loses 2 electrons, now has 18 electrons. Phosphorus, on the other hand, originally has 15 electrons, which gained 3 more electrons in the p-3 ionic state. To determine the atomic size of atoms, the number of protons should be considered since a higher number of protons will result in a stronger pull of electrons towards the nucleus, thus decreasing the atomic size of the ion. The order of the increasing number of protons in the periodic table is calcium plus 2 is less than uh, potassium plus, which is less than the chlorine minus, which is less than sulfur minus 2, which is less than phosphorus minus 3. Yep, so this solution is correct. Thank you.